guys, what's up? It's me, Orangeburg Plush Productions, and today we are going to be doing a plush collection because I am bored. I have not uploaded it in a long time, uh, and yeah, the latest episode that I've, that I've posted, the, the, the review videos and stuff like that, the latest one that I've posted is the interview, wait no, it's the school fight, man. I have not continued that series at all lately so and I because I still don't have an idea anyways so yeah I am going to be doing a plush collection and I am not going to do this by the way well I mean this is for now not really for now plush collections basically like just all my plushies I'm going to be doing this like how I got them uh just the first time I got them and the first one I got them, uh, the first one I got, uh, where's Springtrap? Where is he? Where's Springtrap? Okay, so starting off with, uh, the FNAF ones. First off, the first FNAF plush I've ever gotten is Springtrap. Springtrap is a cool one, uh, you hold up, you can't really see him. Let me change the lights. You can't really see him. Okay, there we go. That's better, I guess. And so yeah, this is Spring Trap. I got him this one time. Uh, I found him in Walmart, and I just I found Nightmare Foxy with him, but I found him in Walmart. And at the time, those two plushie and like FNAF plushies in Walmart, they were like really expensive. They were really, really, really expensive. And I could not get spring. I could not get both of them because they're really expensive. I do not remember the price, but I'm pretty sure they were really expensive. So yeah. But anyways, there's spring trap. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering uh, where this uh, little red stain came from, that's on his teeth. You can't really see it all, but there is one. Uh, well, I got this one, in, I got this in, like, 2016, because I was, like, I was bored, and I was like, you know what, I like FNAF, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go buy FNAF, you know, and I, and I wouldn't stop buying them, and so I went over to my cousin's, keep in mind this is 2016, so yeah, I went over to my cousin's house, and we started playing and stuff like that. And I don't know, I left him alone for like two seconds with my cousin. And then straight away, right when I come back, notice a red mark that's there. Now, it has been fading out. The red mark has been fading out. Before, it was like this huge bulging out red mark that would just bulge out. And yeah. But anyways, there's spring trap. And so next up is... Lonely Freddy, and the, it was a knockoff Freddy because I ordered him from Wish. And I thought it was Sanchi. I thought it was Sanchi. Because I got deceived. Because, but there were more than one picture. Like, I only saw one picture and I was like, oh, this is Sanchi. And I bought him, and then. This is what came. But I'm not really, I'm not really sad about it because he actually, I. I think he's cool. I think he's cute. I think it's cool. So yeah, uh, it wasn't. It it's not that bad. Anyways, so, yeah, it wasn't that bad when I got him. Before, like when I got him, I was like, I was complaining so much because I thought it would be Sanchi, but I was so dumb that I didn't check the other pictures. Yeah, but I'm actually kind of proud that this happened. So uh, yeah, first two plushies. I've ever gotten a FNAF. First two. Anyways, um, this one, this next one is going to be a hard one too, because I all got them at the same time. I got them all at the same time. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to go this. So, yeah, I'm just going to pick them out randomly. Funtime Freddy! I'm Funtime Freddy. I'm Funtime Freddy. Hey, blonde guy! Go get, get, get him! I feel like I do a good impression, but I don't want to. I don't want to be quirky. I don't want to be like rude and stuff like that. I don't want to be like mean. 
I don't want to be show off. So yeah, uh, I feel like I do a good impression, but I don't. I feel like I do a good impression. Uh, you guys get to decide. For me, I think it's a good impression. Well, I mean, who wouldn't think they do a good impression of a character? Anyways, sorry about that. Anyways, um, next up is Freddy Fazno's, his shiny nose. So yeah, here's Freddy, uh, yeah, Freddy. So yeah, uh, Freddy, I saw him, like, I, I bought, I bought them, I bought this, like, whole jumbo pack. I saw them, and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get Freddy, because, uh, I already have Freddy, which is this one at the time. But then, <laughs> then, sorry about that, but then, uh, I just kind of... Yeah, I, I was like, oh wait, this is official. Like, I went on YouTube and I was like, oh, th wait, this is official. Sorry, I have to keep on pausing. Anyways, that will be the last time, hopefully. Anyways, so yeah, he was Freddy Fast News. I kind of forgot what I was thinking. Oh yeah, so I had this Freddy and I was looking at the pat and I was looking at all, all of them and I was like, I already have Freddy. But then I went on YouTube and I kept on sawing and I kept on seeing this Freddy and then I saw this Freddy. And they were like, they kept on saying that it was unofficial and it was just a knockoff. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. And yeah, then I got it. And that's what happened. That's how it happened. Dang. I need to, I need to move this. This is, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Anyways, uh. Next up is Lemur Carl. Oh no, Lemur Carl. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was Nightmare Carl. I think he's pretty cool. Uh, he's gonna have a lot of money. <laughs> no, um, I really like Nightmare Carl. Uh, before I was thinking, like, before when I got Nightmare Carl, I was like. I never even noticed Nightmare Carl in, in the huge set of plushies. I never even noticed him, and I was like, "Damn!" Like I never even noticed him. That's how small he was. He was either he, I either didn't notice him or he was behind everybody. So, uh, yeah. That's Nightmare Carl. Carol, 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 Carol. Let me move this over to the floor. Anyways, I'm back. So, uh. Yeah, that's not my call. I really like him. Uh, yeah, I didn't even notice him in the huge bundle of plushies that I was getting. I didn't even notice him, but I still got him. So, uh, next up is the Puppet Master. <laughs> Info. Yeah, uh, huh. let me put him over here. I have to squat down. Anyways, so yeah, that's the puppet. I really think he's a good plush. I really like his his design. Hold on. Let me get closer. I really like... So, I really like his design. I really like how Funko uh, made his, his uh, face this weird type of thing. I don't know what it is. I think it's cool how they did this, and yeah. Although, uh... Actually, I, I think this might be spot on. I don't know, but it's really sad that they made him like this. That Funko made him like this, and they didn't make him, like, Ennard or BB or Baby. You know what I'm talking about, like, with the floppy limbs. You know, he just, they just, because Puppy is one of the skinny characters. He's, he's more skinnier than Ennard, and that's uh, an accomplishment. So, yeah, they should have really, uh, made his limbs floppy. And they didn't even do that with the security puppet, so I'm kind of mad. But, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure they didn't even have the idea to do that with Puppet yet. I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, like, during that time... They were going to make Baby and everybody look like this, so I'm not really mad. That was a past mistake. 
And yeah, but they could have done it with Security Puppet. But I'm really hoping that they release an, another version of Puppet and make him like BB and Baby and Ennard. I really hope they do that. Anyways, next up is uh, hold on. is there any more? Hold on. Okay, next up is Fetch, uh, a custom that I made uh, because I was bored and I had a lot of spare time, and so a custom that I made. And yeah, uh, his, his thing that says Sparky, it keeps on falling off for some reason, I don't know why. And I was always confused, is his name Fetch or Sparky? Like, I don't know, because his name tag thing says Sparky, but... His name is also Fetch. Like, I was so confused, and I was like, you know what? I don't want to call him Sparky. I want to call him Fetch. So, yeah, that's where, and that's why I'm going to keep on calling him Fetch. Even if his name, even if his name is Sparky, I'm going to call him Fetch because I like Fetch. Fetch is easier to remember. So, uh, yeah. There you go. There is Fetch. And now, uh, well, I have this. Well, okay, you guys are gonna be are probably gonna be really mad at me for doing this to a character to one of my characters, but here's glitchy. Yeah, uh, the universe hasn't really been that nice to him. Uh, I was gonna use him for another movie. I was gonna like make him all ripped and to use him for a movie, and I might still. So. If I get a uh, Nightmare Freddy or Twisted Freddy, then I might, I might use him in in this form in the movie. I might because I originally had my eyes on Nightmare Freddy and Twisted Freddy, but everywhere I went they were just like too expensive. So hopefully I'm gonna find a cheap version of Nightmare Freddy or Twisted Freddy. I'm gonna use them in the movie. So yeah. Hopefully, but if I don't, I'm gonna have to make Glitchy look different. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put him beside Funtime Freddy. Stand up! There we go. Anyway, so, uh, that's about it for the FNAF game. Glitchy is kind of, a a... A character that I kind of made up, but at the same time, because before he was gonna be Glitch Trap, but then I changed it and I wanted to like have it be glitchy because it didn't really look like Glitch Trap. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have it be glitchy, and I'm gonna make Glitch Trap later. And you guys are probably wondering, where is Vanny? Like, where is Vanny? Well, you see, I kind of lost the plush. I kind of lost the plush. I, I I lost it, and all that remains of it is the mask. But then I, I kind of, I ripped up the mask because if I can't find the plushie, then <laughs> why would I use the mask? So yeah, hopefully I, I, and plus I, I kind of didn't like that mask because the ears were too small. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to have to try and find a replacement for that. But yeah, until then, uh, there's no Vanny. Until then, there's no Vanny. And I am actually currently working on a plush that is actually fabric instead of just paper. Because why not? Like, why not? Uh, it's currently going good. Uh, if you do not want to see spoilers, I would recommend, uh, I would recommend, uh, I don't know. If you do not want to see spoilers on, on a plush that I'm currently working on, and is currently going to be in a new episode, if you do not want to see spoilers, uh, skip to the time limit, it's in the comments, I'll give you a second, I'll give you a few seconds, it's in the comments, I will post it, I'll give you a few seconds, okay, you ready now, okay, uh, let me go grab it, okay, uh, Here's the big reveal. Uh, System error toy Bonnie. Uh, I kind of I I'm, I'm I'm trying to work on it. 
Currently, it's being made out of, like, just fabric and hot glue because I do not know how to stitch, sadly. Anyway, so, yeah, and I think it's pretty good for a first plushie. Uh, I'm still working on it. It's still missing the legs. Uh, I need to find a way to fill that up because, yeah, fill this hole up. Um, it's currently going good. Uh, I just need some legs and to fill up the bottom part. And then he's done. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't give him cheeks, uh, I kind of wanted these to act like cheeks, plus they were never in an intent. And I'm not going to add the buck teeth that he has. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go put this back now. Welcome back! Anyways, so, uh... Yeah, we just saw a plush. I'm gonna try and be careful not to say its name, but no promises there. <laughs> no promises there. Anyways, so next up we have is Boris. Remember, I'm doing these in the time I got them, not in waves. So yeah, next up I got Boris. Uh, I didn't really get glitchy, but I just wanted to add him in. So, yeah. So, yeah. Next up was Boris. So, uh, yeah. I can. I got him one day. I was, like, searching through Walmart trying to find another FNAF push. But then I just saw him lying there. And I was like, I need to get this before anybody else did, does. Because that was the last. That was the last plush in Walmart. So, yeah. I, I was like, I need to get this. Same thing happened with Bendy. Like, a few weeks later. A few weeks later, I went back to Walmart trying to find another FNAF plush, but I ran into Bendy, and the same thing happened. The same exact thing. He was the last plush there. He was the last Bendy plush there. But sadly, uh, these two do not have a squeaker. I don't know if Boris was supposed to have a squeaker, but uh, Bendy does not have a squeaker. I don't know if Boris was supposed to, but I'm pretty sure Bendy was supposed to, but he, sadly, he does not. And it's kind of sad, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, so those are the only two plushies I have for Bendy and the Ink Machine. Now, moving on to, uh, characters that were used in the movie. Okay, um, give me Okay, one so second. I tried looking for that one little piece that, that got trapped in the glass cup, but I can't really find it. And I didn't lose it. I didn't lose a... F uh, glass, a glass cup. I didn't lose it. I just, I put it back because I, 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 I can't, I can't just leave it in my room to rot. Anyway, so, uh, let me go grab it. <gasps> Here we go. Let's go up. Anyways, uh, here it is, uh, in, in the container. <laughs> I would have said in the flush, but it doesn't really have flush at all. It's just the abomination failed experiment. Yeah, so there it is. I'm, I'm gonna put it beside Puppet, because why not? Why not? And then, uh, let me grab these two. <sighs> these two are big ones. They are big ones. We got uh, Mega Foxy and uh, Mega Freddy. So let me move this back. Move this backpack. Let me move the camera back a little bit. Uh, yeah, that is a lot. Anyways. So yeah, those are Mega Freddy and Mega Foxy. During the time, I didn't really give them a name, but now they have a name, so yeah. And my personal favorites, my personal favorites, I have to say, these two are my personal favorites. They are FoxyBot 22, I think that's FoxyBot 22. I don't keep track at all, like, I don't keep track at all. So, uh, FoxyBot22, 
and Foxy Bot 37. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Foxy Bot 22 and Foxy Bot 37. Yeah, those are my personal favorites. They are taking up a lot of space. Yeah. Yeah, those are my personal favorites from my series. Anyways, next up are just made up characters, completely made up, not inspired by anything at all. Just completely made up characters. Uh, wait, hold on. No, before we go there, uh, I have to bring in somebody. Somebody that was in. I have to bring somebody. Somebody who was in the first ever the first official episode in we meet if you if you did stay till the end you would know and you know who this is i haven't really announced him yet but if you stayed till the end of the video you should know who this is okay it is nightmare it is the nightmare endoskeleton the Nightmare in the Skeleton. I call him the Nightmare in the Skeleton. He's not really a plush. He's kind of like a toy. But like still like him. I just think he's a cool character. I know that it's just like a Megatron from Transformers. But uh, I just didn't really name. I, I just, it's hard to explain. I just. I, I needed a villain. At the time I was like. You know what? I want a villain. I want a villain at the very start. <laughs> and there's a villain. There's the villain. Uh, and for those of you that are wondering, um, I guess I will return to filming in the pizzeria that I made just for them. I will return to filming in there if I can find the boxes that I used for Funtime Freddy's stage. And puppets, uh, little thing, little prize corner. So yeah, I will bring back the pizzeria. Either way, even if I don't, regardless, I will bring it back. So, anyways, yeah. And now we are moving to come on to completely made up characters. Wait one second. Here we have. The lion and the skeleton, because, uh, just, why not, just, I mean, like, why not, why not add a lion and a skeleton, like, why not, why not, and so yeah, it doesn't really serve a purpose, it will serve a purpose in the future, I hope it will, and no promises there, anyways, next up, let's move back on to the plushies. Let's move back onto the plushies. Here we have Sammy. He has something growing on him. I don't know what it is. Spoilers! <laughs> Upcoming movie. Uh, probably, hopefully, coming out in March or April or something. I don't know. Hopefully. Not a guarantee! Not a guarantee! Not a guarantee at all. And then we have a character, a character that I don't... Oh, wait, yeah. Then we have uh, the empty suit. Which will eventually turn into Pig Patch once I find the plush. I will, uh, I will make him like an actual moving plushie instead of just having him rot in the back room. He will, like, he will have an endoskeleton in him, and then he will turn into Pig Patch somehow, some way, somehow he will turn into Pig Patch. So give it time, give it time. And now for some completely made up characters. Uh, we have the bully from the movie and uh, the bully in the school fight thing. And uh, yeah. Now the school fight is a completely different series. It does not, it does not attend to the series that I have started along with the superhero movies like Iron Bendy. Yeah, it does not... Those types of movies, like the school movies and uh, the school episodes and the superhero episodes, yeah, those do not attend. Those do not... They are not in the same exact universe. Like, 
those don't go in the timeline that I am in right now. So, uh, yeah. Hmm, but I'm, I feel like I'm missing somebody. I feel like I'm missing somebody in this plush collection. Hmm, who could I be missing? Who could I be missing? Hmm, I wonder who. Hmm, I, hmm, I wonder who. Hmm, I wonder who. It's uh, Five Nights at Three Six My original self. I really miss him. Uh, um, I'm gonna keep him made with paper. Uh, the characters that I made with paper, yeah. Um, since I got felt, uh, I'm not gonna remake them using felt. No, I'm just gonna stick with the paper cash grab thing that I'm doing. Yeah. Why don't? Why doesn't he ever stand? I never stand up. Like it's technically me in real life because I'm really lazy, but like still, I never stand up. Five Nights at Three Sixty never stands up. Like stand up, bro. Stand up. Stand up. Stop being lazy. Stop it. Stand. Anyways, um. Then we have, uh, the driver, uh, he shouldn't really be here, but he is, because he was in the movie, so he appeared, so, uh, yeah, he's here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think this might be the last one, this is, probably is the last one, uh, here we have, is the doctor that was in the movie, that's the doctor that was originally in the movie. And, uh, yeah. Now I only have one more. Only got one more. What? <sighs> now this is a small one. But I still used him in an episode, so. The episode called Iron Ben. Yeah, I used him. I used this guy. I used him. Him. The professor that knows karate. So, uh, yeah. That's him. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for sticking here around. See you later. Bye! Dang, this is gonna take a long time to clean up. <sighs> here we go.